Hello and welcome to this PHP video tutorial. In the previous tutorial we looked at how to get a user's IP address. In this particular video we're going to look at a mushy, well, not a more secure way but a bit more of a filter to try find the IP address and I don't recommend using this way just yet. This way is not too bad. You can you know kind of find the IP address if um, well, you can get the remote IP address, but like I said, if it's behind a proxy, it will get the proxy IP address. But let's let me show you this way. So if empty server HTTP client IP, then IP address equals server HTTP client IP. Else if um, empty, so set checking if it's not empty server. HTTPX forwarded for then we'll do IP equals server HTTPX forwarded for else oops IP equals server remote address and basically we're just checking here if the client IP is not empty if it if it's well, if it is not empty, we'll store in IP again the same with the server. Um, HTTPX forwarded for them, we'll store that in IP. Then, if not, we'll just get the remote IP address. But after doing some research, HTTPX forwarded for is very vulnerable to security holes. So, why and how do we fix this? Well, the client can set this particular HTTPX forwarded for to whatever they like and that's not good um, so yeah how do we fix this and obviously why is it not good that we're storing the HTTPX forwarded for directly into the IP address well like I said they could set any arbitrary value in here so they could set anything they wanted in here and if this is going directly into a database we really don't want that to be happening so let's pull up our local host so let's echo out IP you could put this into a function this piece of code here pull up your local host again it'll give you um, column column well dash dash one if you're on local host if you're on 127.0.01 then that should work fine it should give you the local IP address on your remote address it should give you your remote server address or well not the remote server address but the one that's connected so obviously it'll show your IP address but you can store this into a database but like I said don't use this particular method just yet in the next video we're going to look at validating an IP address so hopefully this was helpful make sure you go and watch the next video because if not if some, I don't know, dodgy black hat is um, watching this video, then maybe find your website if you left a comment on this video and the scene that you have used this particular method. They're going to put something in their server HTTPX forwarded for and maybe mess up your particular server. So make sure you watch the next video, how to validate an IP address, and thank you for watching this one. See you in the next video.